So low rank, okay, thank you. Um, thank you. And what else we can see on the lunch table, on the meal table, the different kinds of uh, hierarchy? Just think about it. Uh, the napkin is okay, the, the seat uh, is okay. Flower arrangement, good point. First serve, okay. Experience with both of Baidu. <laughs> a high degree Baidu, I will say. <laughs> okay. So uh, something to do with, with the drinks. Let we see these kind of pictures. Uh, it's uh, Xi Jinping with other uh, country leaders. Uh, we have uh, Nieto Peña, the first one, Putin, of course, Obama, and uh, Pepe. <laughs> okay. The 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 direct the height of the glass. Okay. When the, he talked, now they are quiet. Okay, this is the the, the point of, of the boss. Okay, yes, it's the kind of respect. And um, Darik was right. The 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 level of the the cup. Let me. Okay, you can see it. Yes. Okay. So different level. Uh, which one is higher? Uh, Fernando says, boss always has glass uh, high over others. Boss, okay. When we are like uh, two bosses, like Mark asked before, uh, I'm a European bo boss and you are the Chinese boss. So who should be lower the glass? Host, you, uh, different kind. Just let me. Sorry, put all the lines, the different lines, okay, you. And it depends. If you, if I like, uh, I'm the, the European boss, um, I want to give respect to the Chinese part, I will automatic like uh, down my glass to make the toast or to the brindis, uh, we say in Spain. And what happened if the Chinese boss wants to be more uh, modesty or, or just give me more face to me or, or show uh, his respect to me, he will go down also. So sometimes I, I see like a weird situation that both both uh, of them or both of we just go down, 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 down like this and the perfect solution, uh, I have liquid here so I, I, I cannot do it. It's like a, put your, your glass like this angle so everyone is equal. Of, of course, it's uh, between two uh, same level boss or persons. We do that, okay? Of course, if, if you are the employee, um, if you want to show the respect to your boss, you have to lower your, your glass, okay? Ah, we can see you, okay? So sorry about it. <laughs> thank you to, for me, thank you to tell me that, okay? So you, you go there like a, um, you turn your glass like a 90 degree, more or less, and, and the both of you, if you're doing that, it's like the same level, okay? Thank you, thank you for, for telling me that. So that's why I, I put a lot of text on the PowerPoint. So lowering your glass, you, you are showing respect. You are giving face, where we're going to see the giving, give face uh, part. And also uh, you can see the hierarchy on the um, on the toast, okay. This kind of mentality in China, the same also with younger generations, Meha, uh, it, it, it depends on the uh, what you call the younger generations. Uh, maybe I'm not too young, but the young younger generations um, sh still showing respect, uh, but it, maybe they are not so heavy drinkers like the generation before, okay. But uh, Okay, it is, uh, thank you, Eric, for, for sharing the, the, the article. So, um, again, put that question on the Q&A uh, uh, panel, and we'll answer that uh, later. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Below 35, uh, 40, uh, for example. Okay, in China, you know, now there's a lot of new generation companies, like the, all the startups, and the, all the things I'm, I'm talking about, the Guanxi, the hierarchy, is more, uh, they have more, uh, Western way of thinking. Things are changing, but it's the 
still very few, very uh, small part of all the Chinese market. Okay, maybe in the future they will change, or there will be um, less. Uh, I will I will not say respect, uh, respectful that there will uh, be less um, hierarchy or less power distance. Okay, but uh, now nowadays it's still like. Uh, this kind of, of situation will happen every day. Okay, so we will answer that in, in at the end of the of the seminar of the workshop. So the third part, millennial um, sorry millennial values apply to the modern world beyond Confucius. Okay, you know the the five um, relationship by Confucius. Can you tell me some of that in? Be a chat so I can drink my tea. Yes, uh, Michaela, maybe some younger uh, participant will answer your question better than me. Yeah, uh, yes, thank you, Nick. Uh, wife and husband, we have one. Uh, still four to, to discover. Anyone? Okay, thank you. Parent child, nice one. Father and son, husband and wife, brother, brothers, yes, older brother and younger brother. Thank you, um, um, Bernard, or oh, Bernardo, I, I can, uh, Bernard, okay. All the panelists are Adventists, yes. Emperor, uh, subject, father, son, friends, and friends. Okay, so you know better than me all the relationships. You've got the five here. So that's right. Uh, emperor over subject, Jun Chen, uh, father over son, uh, Fu Husband over wife. I don't like the, 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 <laughs> the word over wife, but this is the truth. Fu Fu, older brother and younger brother, Xiong Di. And senior friend over junior friend, Peng Yong. So that's the five um, relationship. And what values do you see here? What kind of value there are between them? So let's check again this part. Uh, value, more experience, respect, okay? Hierarchy and reciprocity. Okay, I love this one, Lillian, thank you. Filial piety. I don't know, piety is the, the, the correct way to say it. Uh, in Spanish, will be be that, okay. Uh, respect, obedience, respect, uh, hierarchy, hierarchy, static system, I like it. Obedience, xiaoxin, that is, thank you. Uh, great level of Chinese you, you've got. Congratulations. Loyalty and protection, dependencia, thank you social harmony, loyalty, the respect from the one side and taking care from the other side. Okay, knowledge. Yes, I, I love this kind of comparison. It's, it's always a uh, two-part two business, okay? Also in San uh, uh, okay, okay. Obedience, wife is equal to husband in Europe, in China. The husband is more important than wife. Good question <laughs> for the q and um, box, please. Harmony, obedience, mutual respect, and uh, affection. Okay, I love this. I love this. So, value. You see this kind of values between them. Kindness from this part and loyalty, loyalty from the other part. Okay. Father, protection, and son offers respect and obedience. Okay. Husband, obligation to take care of the family and wife, submission. And at this part, I will, I would like to, to know uh, your opinion later in the, in the panel discussion. Um, if are the, there are some Chinese younger or, or, or Chinese uh, guy or, or girl, uh, we can discuss about this, this point of view, okay? Uh, older brother, is taking care of the younger brother. And for the younger brother, the older brother is like a model. Uh, it's like a, a role model to follow, okay? 
and uh, between friends we have trust. Just think again uh, the importance of trust based on the relationship. And the truth is like that this is not so important than the relationship we have, okay? Nick said with uh, 50 million more men, surely women rule. <laughs> okay, we, we're going to, to, to discuss this later, okay? So there's something you already said in the chat. Uh, this was Darik or someone said reciprocity and harmony. Why reciprocity? Because the both offer something to build the relationship. And harmony means if both of you um, makes or, or works, acts this way, you will be harmony between us. Let's see another, uh, another point of view of this. Okay, what else? The government of a country, the professor in the class, the classroom, the boss in the company, the father of the family, and the elder brother. What do they have in common? Protection, authority. Mm -hmm. Protection is, is correct. Authority. It's, it's, I like seniority. Power, privacy, responsibility, care, yes, experience, all leaders, all leaders, of course, all are correct. So we have authority. For me, it's the more important is authority on this. On the private uh, sphere of, the, of you, uh, your, your family, and then in public spaces. That's why. Uh, you know, now in Spain, uh, due to the pandemic situation, everyone is talking bad about the, our president, okay? Um, and it seems normal to criticize your own president. But it never happens to my Chinese friends, uh, maybe for other much reasons, but um, it's not like uh, you don't have, you, you, you cannot um, joking with your, your president, maybe some kind of respect Maybe it's kind of some kind of you know censorship, or maybe it's uh, the way uh, of think of we, we how we think. Uh, I still cannot tell nothing bad about the the, the leader of the uh, of any country, even in, in Spain. I, I'm not, uh, uh, of course, I'm not uh, uh, agree with everything he's doing, but for me, is he's the leader. Uh, he knows the best how to drive this situation. So is sometimes I see a lot of jokes, uh, a lot of, uh, of uh, bad news about him in the, in the social media. Uh, for me, it's still like, a, mm, I, I don't know if I can, uh, I can be so open uh, person to criticize the, the, the leader of the uh, a country. I don't know, it's maybe uh, my own bias, okay? So uh, let's move. This, this one, I love this, is for, uh, from, yes, four, four years, five years ago. Uh, father of nine, uh, 69 sues his uh, three daughters for not returning home to visit him frequently, okay? And you, you, you can see the, the underline, uh, I, I, under, I, I underline two uh, key points of the reasons. He can, they have not come home enough to give him, him, him uh, financial support, okay? Uh, in China, some of you has already write in in the chat. Uh, filial piety, xiao, is like a, our re responsibility to take care of our parents, our senior member of the family, uh, like forever. It's like a, a re our responsibility. Uh, what is the reason of the daughters the saying? Uh, his their father has uh, has been violent toward him, them, sorry. So uh, like, uh, it's a violent person. Uh, I, we, we don't like to take, take care uh, for him. So what happens here with, uh, with uh, harmony and reciprocity? You see the point? Is father didn't behave like father and the daughters is not going to not going to behave like daughters. 
if you are a bad person, a violent person, uh, you didn't take care of me before, I don't have to, uh, to do the filial piety for you. You see why they are fighting it? Uh, of course, it's not uh, so common in China. In, in China, most of the, the, the kids uh, or the, the daughters or the, or the sons will take care of the, um, uh, of the parents, even they behave like this way, okay? Uh, Lillian, do he, uh, do he, sorry, this is going on. Bad behavior, the father has forgone his daughter help. Yes, same drama in Europe, but the relationship are not mutual, correct. It's the same drama, but with different points of view, okay? So yes, reciprocity and harmony. So the, the last part of the of the uh, this workshop, the Chinese mindset, keep your mianza and build your guanxi. So mianza, uh, have you heard of, of, of the, this word mianza? What is mianza for you? I know you know a lot of uh, Chinese culture. It's like face, face, okay. Uh, uh, give them the opportunity and show respect, correct? Reputation, which is great. Status and integrity, dignity. Public image. Face, uh, Sandro, muchas gracias, Sandro. Yes, we are, when, when you're talking about face, it's like, okay, what is even face? No. Uh, social capital, uh, there's one's feelings, one's reputation, correct? Social status, reputation again. So dignity again, okay? So this is a kind of uh, definition of, of mianza. The Chinese concept of face refer to a uh, cultural understanding of respect, honor, and social standing. Deep, deep, deeply, uh, deep, deeply rooted in the Chinese culture. And face represents a person's reputation and feelings in a group, okay? Or of, uh, of prestige in, in the group. Face is also a corrective, even national, national, national. Okay, face, uh, can you put me an example of personal face? like a personal social status or personal reputation. Uh, like, uh, okay, uh, I went to a very prestige uh, university. So I have a more face, okay? Uh, what I mean if I say it's a collective thing for face. It's a social status for the group. Just think about the group. How? Yes, winning a gold medal, okay? Achievements, belonging to a group, uh-huh. So if I go to a, a, like a very high degree on a very prestigious uh, university, and then I go to the group, like associ association, or for your company, uh, it will be uh, like a, I have a, a, a more face for the group because I have my own face, okay? Losing a war, losing a war is a, a having face or losing face, Eric. Losing face, thank you. <laughs> so we go to the national part. Uh, of course, in the face is personal, collective, and also national. National. Someone said uh, winning a, a gold medal. A gold medal is is a, is a great thing if we are talking about the the, um, the Olympic Games. It's a great. Uh, national gaining face uh, theme for the person uh, when you a gold medal uh, also is for like uh, for his country uh, China like okay we have a more gold medal than uh, any other countries all particular uh, Chinese represent China as a whole thank you AA uh, a deep understanding of the Chinese mindset uh, I have to say yes if I lose face my own face it's like uh, three parts, okay? Three levels of uh, losing face. 
uh, I have uh, lost my own face, uh, personal face. I'm losing face to my collective. Uh, when I say collective, maybe uh, I refer to my <clears throat> company, uh, to my profession, uh, to my team, to my group, and you know that the highest level of losing face is losing face for China, your country, like a uh, embarrass embarrassment. Okay, thank you. Chinese beating out. I don't know if I can read that one out, but about China, uh, will be shut down to present loss of face as China. Yes, a lot of this kind of thing uh, happens every day. So just remember the three levels of face. Not only yours, but also other face to save other from embarrassment. So can you give me another sample of how I can prevent uh, someone to lose face? That's the great difference between you know, the, the face concept that we also have in, in, in Europe, of course. No one uh, wants to be uh, embarrassed in, in public, but the, the, the difference or the, the plus uh, part is the, I'm going to save your face. Uh, in, uh, okay, uh, don't criticize uh, directly. Thank you, Lisa. Um, and another example, uh, another, another uh, ex example. What do you say in your own country when you are saving someone's face? You are, you, 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 do you say, uh, I'm say, I'm saving your, your face? You, you have some uh, sentence, me too, okay. Uh, it's like, uh, I'm going to save your face. Okay, so this, I like the conversation you, you're going, it's going on in chat. Uh, share blame, okay. In Spanish, where, where we say, uh, salvar el culo, saving your ass. So I don't know, is that the, the same thing? but it's, it's saving someone to be uh, embarrassed in, in public. Could happen to me too, okay? So usually we use a different body part. <laughs> Eric, thank you, thank you. Different part, body part sounds better than what I said, okay? <laughs> thank you, thank you. It happened to me, retain your honor. Yes, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, we know that, uh, but uh, maybe, uh, thank you, Eric, politely, saving your height. That's great. Skin, okay. So in German, we say uh, your body part of honor, of honor. Okay. Saving your name, great one. Saving your name. This is differences. Uh -huh. You also people uh, are dado la cara por mi. Thank you, David. Yes, it, it sounds better than saving your ass. Of, of course, yes. Ha dado la cara por mi. Ha puesto la mano en el fuego. You, you put your hand in, in in fire for me. Okay. But it's that is more credibility, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. Hmm. Saving your reputation. And, and do you practice a lot in your country, in your own country, saving other face? Or it's just like, uh, it's, it's okay to do it, but it's not like a very important thing. It's okay to do it, yes, okay, it's okay. But it's not a great thing. It depends more on the, on the individual value set. Okay, thank you, Antonio, again. It's not that important in German because it's more individualistic. Thank you, Lisa. And it's okay, yes. It depends on, the, on, on your own country, on your own context, on your own uh, culture. Maybe saving other face is okay or it's not a big deal. But in China, uh, it is a big deal. Um, excusing behavior rather than assuming the worst. Uh, someone's late. Thank you, Irina. Face honor is important, but it's driven by other values. Thank you, Lilia. So, uh, as I said, protecting another person's face is more than important than understanding what you believe is correct. Okay, so. Um, white lies, we'll call it in, in English. In Spanish, it will be a mentirijilla, no? or, or in China, it's, a, it's, it's okay to lie something. It's, it's, like, uh, to, it's okay to lie to save someone's face. And it's again, no? the truth and the someone's face. Which one is uh, um, more important? For the Chinese person, it's the face is more important than the truth. 
and some and some in some situation I will tell a lie for you to go to understanding. I'm lying, but I'm telling something to save my own face. It's something uh, happens to me years ago. Uh, I tell a little lie, and uh, of course it's a lie uh, because I, I, I arrived late to a train. So <laughs> a big mistake for me. Um, and I tell, no, the taxi uh, didn't arrive at the same uh, address. Uh, I give the bad address to the taxi driver. So that's a little lie. Um, you will understand this. Okay, you may be, uh, you, you are late, but you are telling something uh, like uh, it's the other problem, it's not yours. So you will save your own face. But the other co trainer uh, who was, uh, she was German, very direct, and said, uh, You are lying. You just woke up late. So tell me the truth. So it's like a very um, uncomfortable situation for me. It's like, Okay, yes. Uh, I know I woke up late. You know I woke up late, but I'm telling you, uh, it's the other uh, other person's problem. So I can move on, and don't make me feel bad before I start the the, the training program. So it's again the same situation, different point of view. Okay, having someone's back. Uh, yes, the cubrir las espaldas will be in, in Spanish. You know, the, to to take care of someone. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, white lie is sometimes need to say. Other face, yes, white lies. I love, I love this. Is this someone from from the north of Europe, uh, from Netherlands, uh, uh, Finland, or uh, uh, Norway? Uh, uh, is there someone on, on the sessions? Not. Yes. How does a boss? Uh, okay, okay. I, I lost it. Yes, Sweden. Thank you, Edmund. Uh, Sweden. Uh, what do you think about the white lies? Do you have the concept of white lies in your culture, Edmund? Finland, thank you. Um, yes, Anna, love, yes. Portuguese, Portugal. Step in front of the bullet. Oh, okay, nice, nice one. Yes, Netherlands, thank you. Yes, we do. So, uh, yes, in Denmark. So, you do have the, the concept of the white lies, okay? Yeah. Because someone tell me uh, we don't have the, 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 the kind of white lies. Uh, for us, it's or black or white. There's no like a, a, a gray zone. Uh, it's not true, okay. Thank you for, for, your, for your answers. We tell white lies to save someone else's feelings. Okay, thank you, thank you. That one, <laughs> what a white lie. Thank you, Mark. Okay, thank you for, for being so active, everyone. So there's some situation um, to you to, to answer, or it's giving someone face or make someone uh, lose face, okay, the concept. Of white lie in Sweden, uh, too bad. Uh, maybe less implemented than other countries. Thank you, Annie. Mm -hmm. Some countries say it as it is. Okay, more direct. Okay, Nikita, thank you very much. Uh, yes, the exercise: giving face, gaining face, or losing face. Okay. So the first situation: your kids goes to a very prestigious university. Is a giving face or is a losing face? Okay, this is one is, is very clear. Uh, yes, giving face. Thank you, Anita. Giving face, giving face. Okay, thank you very much. Is giving face to yourself or to your family, to your group, to your collective? Both. Yes, Simon, thank you very much. Is uh, my own face and my family's face. Remember, just connect with the uh, uh, individual and collective part we, we said before in the, in the workshop. So it's, it's the collective thing. Face is a collective thing. Self and family. Thank you. The second one, more than 30 years old and still single. Ooh, that's the hard one. Losing face, Tariq, uh, okay. Big, big, big time. For C, yeah, for sure, uh, I think it's in China, uh, lost face. Thank you, Lillian, losing face, uh, smart, losing face or enjoying the freedom. Thank you. I love, I love when, when this, with this kind of, of answers, you know, you know the, the different perceptions. People are here in the blue part or in the red part. Uh, Rita is asking male or female. Uh, Darik, thank you for, for, the, for the icon of, of loving. Depends on the country, of course, depends on the country. Yes, it's the second part of the question. Still uh, 30 plus, plus still uh, single in China uh, will be like a loose of face. Um, the parent of the 30 years person is losing face the parents, correct? 
uh, if you type uh, in Google the, the marriage uh, market in Shanghai, you will see a lot of uh, uh, parents of this kind of, of people in the park. Uh, like, I would call it like an offline marriage company or offline dinner. So we'll uh, not selling the offer their uh, sons and daughters to, to marriage. Uh, it's, a, it's a very cute thing for, for me, but it's not working for me, okay? So in, in Chinese, they're very obvious with the Shang and Shang Okay, so more than 30 years old, still single, it's like a, a losing faith for the family, okay? Things are changing, but still like a, it's like a, a losing faith thing in China. What about in, yeah, thank you, Simon. What about in, in your own country, in Germany, in Portugal, in Spain? Uh, what about is uh, 30, but still single? Uh, this one uh, good question. Is marriage obligatory in China? Uh, if you think that all the family values and traditional values and is, um, I, I, I would like to say it's the must. Uh, it's not only marriage. It's uh, one year uh, after your marriage, uh, it comes the hard part is uh, you have to have a kid. You have, uh, you have, it's the, you must have a, a, a child. So uh, if you don't have a child after one years, after one years of marriage, is something wrong with you too? It's a, a lot of uh, you know uh, group pressure, social pressure, uh, family pressure for you both first to get married and then to have a kid. So okay, I will read again here. The same in Portugal. Losing is yes. Uh, thank you, Slovenia. Losing is forty plus. It's no thirty. Uh, thirty. David. Thank you. In Spain, in, in last year, uh, the age of marriage is uh, 33 and 35. Okay, so I'm a little bit late for that. Uh, thank you very much for, for the statistics. I think now in Portugal, there's not such a negative connotation. Yes, things, things are changing. You in China, you in China, if you don't get married and, and you work like a, the, the the, the great uh, six night, uh, six uh, uh, from night to night during six days of the week. It's like a wow. Uh, I'm a, like a hard worker. Uh, I don't care about uh, my private life. So marriage is not on my plans. My plan is uh, working and make more money. Okay. So this is the new way of the, the youngster thinking in China. In Italy, being single at 13 is uh, being freedom lucky most of the men. A woman are engaged and maybe thinking about her marriage. Thank you, Sylvia. I love this kind of, 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 of different um, part of the world thinking about the marriage. Okay, and that is true. Uh, if you are get a uh, kid three months after marriage in China, it is bad. <laughs> I don't know how you do you call it in, in, in your country, this kind of uh, marriage. In, I know the expression in Spanish, but I don't know it in, in Chinese. Uh, in Spanish, we said, uh, Casarse de penalty. Uh, it's like a, you, you get pregnant, uh, you have to marry. Okay, so I don't know that maybe someone can put it in the, another expression in English or even Chinese. So I just know this one in, in Spanish. Sorry. So we can discuss this later, on, of course, in the Q and I uh, section. Thank you. Uh, also, Antonio, thank you. Also in Portugal, the penalty. Uh, sh shotgun wedding. Wow. It's a new word for me, shotgun wedding. So it's a bad connotation, all right? Okay. So someone corrects me, <laughs> my English in public. I know my broken English. I, I do have to say sorry again. So uh, at least you can read all the answers here. So someone corrects uh, in my English in public. Okay, losing face, losing face for me. Thank you, thank you very much. And thank you for you no, not to doing that. I have a lot of... Um, room to improve my English for this year. So thank you very much, okay? So again, preventing someone from looking bad in public. <laughs> and as a giving face for the one who's correcting. Yes, yes, like uh, I know more English than you, so I can correct you. Or you are, you are my boss and you can correct me, okay? Uh, yes, giving face, giving face, giving face. Antonio, quieres hacer un break o estás bien? Uh, yes, should we, should we make a break because there's a one hour left? So thank you, welcome back. Uh, hope you grab your coffee 
So we have uh, like uh, one hour left. So we have uh, the, the, the interesting par part of the, the workshop and thank you for being so active to, to answer or for me to learn your point of view, things about your country, your culture and your, your, you know, your, your thinking, your thoughts. Uh, I love it, thank you very much. So let's um, go back to this exercise, uh, giving face or losing face. We've got uh, your kids goes to a very prestigious university, which is uh, uh, giving face is good. Uh, 30 plus still single, it depends, but we're talking about China, okay? Uh, it's a losing face for your family, uh, maybe for you, because there are a lot of uh, uh, marriage problems in China. So someone corrects your English or your second language in public, losing face. Uh, maybe it's giving face to the person who corrects you, but it's in China will be a, a losing face. Uh, preventing someone from looking bad in public is a, a, a good thing, no? it's a giving face. Okay, so uh, one gift, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much, uh, Rosina, to give a, a, to sum up. And okay, beating a Chinese at ping pong. Imagine the situation, you are a great ping pong player and you are in China and you are talking about, you know, the small talk, you are about, uh, you are talking about your hobbies, your passion, uh, Chinese history, no political issues, please. Uh, just sports, like, okay, uh, you are coming from Spain and uh, Spain is, uh, is like a huge in the sport industry. We have a lot of, uh, we have La Liga, we have the Gasol brothers, we have uh, Rafael Nadal, Valerina, Marin, everyone, everyone, okay? Uh, Frederick, if you are from from Sweden, it's okay. Giving face, uh -huh. giving face for the one who's winning, perhaps it's a bit painful. I love this kind of, of thoughts from different part of, of the of the of the world. Uh, what about the Chinese part? Uh, any any Chinese want to say something? Uh, for instance, you are in China, you are. Uh, a boss or a partner of the European co uh, a company, and the the Lawai beats you uh, on your own sport. <laughs> and it's not Chinese beating a Chinese; it's a a, a Lawai or foreigner beat, beating a Chinese. Sorry about the the misunderstanding. The Chinese giving face to the opponent by letting him win. Good switch of mind. Thank you, thank you, Antonio. I love your answers. It's always thinking out of the box, uh, good sports. Yes, for, for me, for me, uh, in, in this case, okay? If you, are, you, if you are a foreigner and you are beating the Chinese part of ping pong, will be um, losing face for the Chinese part. Um, if, you, if the person is important in the company or you are uh, trying to do business with this person, the best way is to show your capacity to like, uh, you are a good player also, but I let you win in some case. Not that Descarado will be saying in Spanish, but just let him know you are good also, but he's better. You know the concept, you, can you understand what I'm saying? So uh, beating a Chinese at ping pong will be a losing face thing for him. But if you if you make it like a more equal, more competitive, the, 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 this kind of game, will be great for you. You are saving his face, and at the same time, you are saving your face, losing at the Chinese national sport, okay? So Francisco, always depends. I play at home against a Chinese player, and we had fun, no social problem with that, and was working environment. Uh, the second question, is your boss was lost against you? So you have to show that you are capable to play well, yes, but at the end you have to let the person win. It depends on the situation, the context, of course. If you are dealing with the Chinese uh, guy and the person decides uh, more than you do, my advice is this, let, let him win, okay? Uh, no, it was a Chinese client. So in this kind of relation, who was the most powerful person in the room? The Chinese client or you? That's the point that I want to, to, to get. So if you are uh, higher in your higher, okay? 
in your hierarchy level, uh, it's okay to do anything. But if your the business deal depends on these kind of situations, it's better make him win before you uh, to show you all your you know strongest at this sport. Okay, uh, it doesn't hurt if you let him win. Okay, thank you for for the answer. So. You see, there are different answers. All depends on the situation, on the context. Decline a invitation directly. Okay, let's have dinner uh, tomorrow night. And your answer is no. It's losing face, it's uh, giving face to the other part, to the host. Both losing face. Yes, thank you, Francisco. Okay, cause, uh, uh, causing the other part lose face in this uh, in this example. Okay, decline a invitation directly. A this person will not accept to play with you if she didn't know to play well. Thank you, AA. I will would like to just add me in you to your network. Okay, <laughs> I love your answer also. Okay, so lose face. Thank you. So, what can we do to say no to some this, this kind of, of invitation? So is uh, no directly, it's, it's, it's no, okay, it's not the, the, the correct answer, but you don't want to go. So give him like an like a excuse that the other person can't stand that you don't want to go. So you saw white light, of course, we are white light, yes, I, I know, uh, thank you for the white lights, but what kind of white light uh, in this situation? In Saturday, I'm going to organize a party, a throw a party in my apartment, and I would like you to come, and you don't want to come, okay? So tell me a white lie. I, I, Anna is thinking, I'm sorry, I can't, I have another, uh, I have all plans already, okay, okay? Already have a family and dinner, okay? Family values is great. Uh, say it's very kind of you, but you already have another appointment. Visit mother-in-law. So can, can I ask you, uh, is Matias, uh, where are you writing from? Uh, Matias, I love your, your example of Slovenia. Thank you. And what happens in Slovenia, the perception of mother-in-law? Because in, Span in Spanish, it's like the, the, the worst person of your political family. And the second worst person is the, your uh, brother-in-law, your cuñado. Always there, okay, so this is still. Also, what's person? So this happens in the, to other countries. The, the mother in law is like the worst person in, in the family your, of your family member. They have all of the world, they hit the human. So how about China? The suegra or the mother in law is, has the same perception? It's never good to cancel a visit to the mother in law. Yeah, this is it's a, it's a great point. It's a heavy, heavy, heavy uh, reason to not go to your party. It's my mother-in-law is, is coming to visit us. Okay, but you have to listen to her. Yes, it's like an kind of obligation. No idea about Ch Chinese mother-in-law. Okay, you don't have a Chinese mother-in-law. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Okay, so could you tell us more? Okay, yeah, yeah, so the, the family issues. Yes, okay, thank you. Go to the, uh, the the question for for later. Is risk Ana Lopez? It's okay. So uh, let's move on. So lie to look good. Okay, it's a white lie and uh, it's a, a giving face. Okay, so time is okay. Yes, and toasting with someone. You you are not the boss and you are on the round table and you want to make a brindis in, in Spanish. You want to toast with uh, your you know, one glasses lowering down to someone. Uh, is giving face to someone? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, giving face, giving face. Mm -hmm. And what happens to the person? Okay, you are a Lawai, a foreigner. Lawai for me is, is not a bad con connotation. Okay, uh, you are a foreigner in China and you are on the round table. You are uh, toasting, of course, with uh, the host and the main host and then the second host. And then at the end of the dinner, everyone will get up and have a toast with you and bring this with you. So you will drink a lot of more than 
than the others. So I come to you like, uh, okay, Mr. Mike, uh, uh, welcome to China and uh, let's collaborate uh, like, uh, uh, yes, let's collaborate together. Gambe, thank you, Francisco, Gambe. And what is your perception about this? So everyone will come one by one to make you drink. Is this something annoying you? Is this it's okay? You, ha, you are a, a great drinker, so you it make you feel special. Yes, yes. Giving face, giving face, you will be very drunk. This is the truth, the, the truth. Giving face and, and getting face. Of course, it's both. You are getting face from them and you are giving face for them to let them, to give them the opportunity to toast with you, okay? Sometimes I'm taking pills and uh, they understand Beatriz is a, is a very good uh, trick to, to tell them, okay, I cannot drink, I'm taking pills, I'm ill, uh, maybe you are just taking some ibuprofen or paracetamol, but it's okay, no one no, knows that, okay? But if, if you are uh, taking pills, don't drink at all. If you drink something or some small uh, cup or, or glass, you are lost, okay? Uh, <laughs> So my, my advice, if you don't like alcohol, don't drink out al al at all. So you can uh, change your drink with tea, uh, with uh, some uh, uh, soft drinks, or even, you know, water is, is more or less, uh, or maybe it's better tea, okay, or soft drinks. Uh, okay, one business is something you need to do. Uh, do you like Coyote Ugly? <laughs> Coyote Ugly, what a good film, okay. I will recommend some uh, film uh, to understand the Chinese mindset later, okay. Coyote is not one of this, but uh, I, I love the, 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 the Coyote film, the Ugly Coyote, okay. So I work with wine, imagine how difficult it was to be sick. Yes, Beatriz, it's a, it's a, it's a good point, but in, in, for my experience, uh, uh, they don't make drink too much. I'm do, doing the, 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 the point with, with my fingers. To, to woman, okay, it's more like a man-to-man -man thing, okay? So this is a, a woman have more uh, excuses, like, okay, I don't drink uh, uh, much, I can make a toast with everyone, so don't come one by one. Uh, I will thank you, your intention, but I'm not a heavy drinker, so I will do a general toast with everyone, okay? So with, with the boss, of course, with the second boss, and then the third one with everyone on the table, okay? So it is okay to drink red wine instead of a rice wine? Yes, yes. Um, many uh, uh, banquets, uh, the host will ask you uh, if you like uh, to drink uh, uh, there was a baijiu or red wine. Okay, baijiu means uh, the, the liqueur that with a high level of alcohol or of heat or, or, or beers. Oh, someone, okay, I start with beers and then you switch into to red wine. At the end, we bring you the, the small bo bottle of uh, baijiu. Um, depends on the on the region. So I'm from Beijing. I will put Arwato, of course, uh, on the table. I'm not a heavy drinker, so. But uh, you know, it depends on the on the on the on the, on the drinks. It's okay. Say okay. I just can't drink uh, wine, not uh, Chinese liqueur. And the Chinese part will say, okay, just try one. Just try two. If I, if you say yes at the first one, you are lost. Okay, that's the my advice. If you cannot drink Chinese uh, liqueur, baijiu, so just say no from the from the beginning in the uh, very polite way to say no, okay? So baijiu, yeah, Rosina. Let's hand over next day. <laughs> yes, let's hand over together. Most of the time the Western can take more alcohol than Asians, but once I got really drunk with Chinese marital people. Wow, marital people drink a, a lot over all the world. Yes, it's a, it's a good point. I didn't know that that kind of, of, of information, but thank you for sharing it. Uh, uh, true, all of them were very respectful for, for me. That's, that's the, uh, uh, connected with uh, the, the woman drinking. Okay. Uh, five tips to give face to someone. Give high uh, compliments often and freely. Mm -hmm. Praise someone in front of the elders or superiors. That is a very good, good trick. Uh, invite someone for an expensive meal or banquet. It's like a very giving face thing. And if you see the potential embarrassment of someone imminent, do something to distract from it, okay? So give someone prestige. 
at the end. That's the, the old tip and all the tip you can find in, in the chat. And five more tips to, to avoid losing face. Don't criticize, disagree with uh, or questioning someone, uh, someone's decision, okay? And if someone is your boss, definitely it's, it's no, okay? Don't refuse an invitation to a dinner or an event uh, too directly. Okay, we say, okay, my, my mother-in-law is coming on Sunday, so I cannot have a lunch with you. But maybe you can use this kind of excuse, excuse once, uh, or maybe it's a, every weekend your, your mother-in-law is coming to visit you. I don't know what kind of relationship you, you have your, with your, your political family, but it's, it's okay to, to make some white light to this situation because the, the host, uh, me, I'm inviting you, I will understand, I will decode, I will read between lines that you don't want to come to my party. But it's my obligation to invite you to come. So maybe at the, at the deep, at the end, I'm waiting you to say no, because I don't want you in my party. And also you don't want to come. So, but we are like faking this kind of uh, kind of conversation. Please come to my party. And I say, oh no, I, I can't because my mother in love is visiting to me uh, this weekend. And it's all right. We both understand. I don't want you to come to you to come to my party and you don't want to go. So we both lie, okay? So uh, third one, don't reveal uh, somewhat lack of ability to do something. Don't show in the proper uh, difference to one's elders or superiors, okay? I'm presenting you my father or my mother-in-law in this case, and you ignore, ignore him or her. So that's no good point. Just showing respect to someone's superiors, okay? So maybe uh, I would say, just come uh, this uh, weekend to my home because my university professor will come and sharing some tea with us. So just a great point. You know, you don't, uh, it's more difficult for you to decline this kind of, of invitations, all right? So if someone superior is in the, in the event, maybe uh, you have to be more creative to decline this kind of, uh, invitation. So don't call in, uh, to, don't call in someone out uh, a lie, don't pointing out a lie. It's like uh, what I told you before the, the coffee break, uh, I, I was late and so, uh, I was late. The other person knows I was late. I, I, I just tell, I, I told the problem was the taxi, the driver, uh, I was not. Um, and she was pointing out that lie in front of the others. So it's like a, a bit of losing faith for me. Of course, it's also a losing face because we, we both were uh, co-trainers. It's like mm, something happens to your team. You don't have harmony in your team. So just think about your own face and the collective face, okay? So next point, Guanxi. I know you know a lot of uh, uh, Chinese culture. Can anyone tell me something about Guanxi? You've got a, a game here in networking. Relationship, thank you, relationship. Uh, can you switch to, to all uh, panelists and participants so everyone can see your uh, answer? Uh, Adam, uh, sorry about, I cannot even say your name, thank you. Uh, Fernando, takes time to build, okay? So that's why I, uh, I tell you, build your guancy, okay? So social capital, mm -hmm. doing favors for pers uh, for people who you have a relationship with. Thank you, interdependence and belonging. Thank you, reciprocal relationship. Thank you. Yes, slowly beating a strong network. Blue. Mm, blue. Okay. So are you? Um, okay. Thank you very much for the answer. Uh, safety net. Okay. So. Safety net, I love, I love that expression. Connection to resource and power. Thank you, thank you. Um, are, you are you agree with the blue one that in your European country, the kind of networking is this? It's like, okay, I have my, maybe you know, my childhood mm, network, my neighbor network, my university network, uh, my colleagues or my coworker network, and are some difference in different parts of my own agenda. Bruce, not uh, European style, nowhere. Okay, Mark. 
uh, can uh, anyone tell me um, the blue one is more correct according your own culture or your own country? South Europe, I think, is more like China. Yes, Nick. Mm -hmm. Yes, blue, my own network. Do not need to be more complex. Caroline, thank you. Uh, Caroline, wh where are you from? Can you tell me? Thank you, Netherlands. Great. And then you said it's closer to China. Yes, when I'm doing showing these kind of, of uh, pictures to Spanish companies, and they say, yeah, sometimes we are more close to China than the Germ than the Germans. Okay, Lilian, divide between private and professional life, Netherlands. Thank you, thank you. And and that's it. In Netherlands, we have two uh, testimonies uh, of this. Is uh, okay. We have network also, but it's different. We separate professional and my private life. Privacy, privacy. Okay. Blue in Lithuania. Thank you. Thank you, Eva. In Hungary, we have separate groups, public, private, university, Hungary. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's more, more common than, uh, than I think. So we have two kinds of relationships. Blue in Sweden. Thank you, Frederick. Uh, uh, two kinds of, um, two ways to make uh, networking. And I believe that the kind of blue networking is uh, functional, is working. Uh, Swati, thank you already, India. Of course, India, is, 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 they have a lot of common with the uh, China, Chinese mentality. This is because in the red one, the Chinese one, we, we think uh, we have to, to have connection with everybody at many levels. If we turn this page like, a, we did it like a 3D, you will see like, a lot of mass connections in, in Chinese society, okay? Um, it's complicated. There is a slight difference between networking and uh, okay, uh, Italy. There's a big problem. There's always seems a, a problem. Thank you for for the for the word corruption. We will see if uh, quincy is uh, corruption or not later on. But thank you for, for for this for this kind of information. Yes, and if you know the the big companies is uh, now is more starting like a years before years ago with the compliant thing, like a small uh, present or small thing. Uh, you don't, you, you cannot give it away to your Chinese colleague if it's uh, uh, more expensive than 30 euros in some companies. It's like, okay, so the bigger question is, okay, the Chinese part bring me like a, a gift, not expensive gift, but I have to give something back. But if the something back is uh, is more expensive than 20 or 30 euros, I cannot give it to, to, to the Chinese part. So that's the, the legal, again, no? the, the, the what he said on the papers and against our friendship. So Andrea says, uh, red might be less functional and effective, maybe less. Okay, I will see, we will see this is less or more uh, uh, functional or not, okay? So Quincy, social connection or relationships. We go to the easy part of the Quincy, okay? Having the right Quincy is vital to getting things done in China. Uh, I hope you all, you are agree with me with this. A person's quantity includes family, relationship, former classmate, uh, classmates, and co-workers, and many others, okay? Both professionally and personally, what we say already in, in the chat. And the bribes, the nepotism, and corruption is not only quantity. When you heard quantity, uh, don't think just in the first step, uh, like, oh, it's a bribe or, or nepotism or corruption. It's not only that. Of course, there's um, corruption in China with this kind of uh, like, uh, okay, paying something to him, uh, we get uh, better treats. Or, or, or if you want to get something down, you have to pay the right person the, the right quantity of money, okay? Uh, it's happening, but uh, quantity is much more than that. So the, the, that will be clear we'll see how is Quancy working in other sphere of the society, okay? So even in USA, Quancy is important, just different. Okay, Mark, thank you very much. Yes, it's the, it's the same concept. Uh, Quancy networking is, is, of course, is important. If you think about the, uh, the social network, it's all about networking Quancy. It's uh, about um, LinkedIn, it's about professional network. But um, sometimes in Europe, 
the, you don't have to send people in Facebook. It's like more private than uh, in, in LinkedIn or the posts in LinkedIn are so different than your, your posts in, in Facebook. They are different, uh, very separate connections. But in, in China, we use, uh, you know, a WeChat. And we just like I'm connected with everyone. Of course, you can't make small groups, uh, focus groups, but uh, your post is like open for for everyone. Okay, thank you for 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 the for the information, Mark. Mark. So, for me, the biggest difference is how you get Guanxi networking. Okay, we focus on networking between China and the West. China, you are in the middle, and you have different rings color rings to get your to build your own Quancy network. I will see the next slide what uh, what means that kind of uh, rings. And in Europe for me, you are in the middle and you are you have freedom to choose to connect with anyone. Just think about uh, uh, LinkedIn. And by the way, you can add me to, to LinkedIn with my name Antonio Lujan. Uh, let's connect. Let's do uh, business together. Let's uh, start our Guanxi network, okay? So you are in the middle, you can't add someone in LinkedIn, and it's okay. You meet someone offline, of course, it's uh, your, your, for your uh, networking, network, uh, uh, yes, for, for your network. Uh, other point, maybe your family, your classmate, and are different choices of your individual desire. You want someone belong to your, uh, to your, uh, network and it's alright. It depends on you. You can accept or decline any invitation. Okay. For me, the big difference between Chinese way of network and the Western uh, way of networking. So let's see the next slide. The rings. I love this. So the Chinese person is in the middle. She, he, and you are Lawai. Again, Lawai has no bad connotation, at least for me. It's like a foreigner people, uh, you maybe. You are outside the rings, okay? So like the, the, the deepest ring, the yellow one is the family, biological and political. Yes, your brother-in-law and your mother-in-law also is in this, uh, in this ring. And then the blue one is the, the extended family, like the godfather, godmother, godbrother, godsister. You know that the one child policy. So uh, we call a lot of a lot of person like, uh, oh, it's my brother. It's not like biological brother. It's someone has a close connection to you, someone older than you that, that is taking care of you. So it's the standing uh, sorry, standing extended family. Okay, or like an uncle. Uh, uh, don't worry, my uncle's working in the bank, so he can help you. So extended family, no biological. Okay, and the red one. Uh, Antonio, where are the friends? Friends for me depends well, when you call friends. Uh, if, if he's very, very close friends, I will say he's like a brother to me or a sister to me. It will be, uh, he will be or she will be in the blue one, the blue ring. Okay. If we are like a conocidos, we'll be uh, saying in Spanish, or we, we didn't share some much experience in common, I will put him or she or her in the red ring. So something in common, maybe my hometown, uh, my school, my sector, my job, mm, even we share the, the same last name or, or membership. Uh, have you ever seen uh, two persons from the same town in China uh, when they meet in other part of the world? So every, this happens to me every time. Uh, when I, I start to, to speak with my uh, Chinese Beijing accent and, and the other person is from Beijing, and it's like, wow, I found someone special in the world. Like, uh, what do you, uh, where are you from? Of course, from Beijing, but uh, which district? And we both can find someone in common in this kind of district. Like, uh, I'm from Haidian. Oh, Haidian, I have some friends of Haidian, of course. Haidian has like one million of people. So, it's the it's, so the possibilities are really low, but we are creating the, 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 the common field, okay? So let me read again your comments on the chat. So uh, brotherhood, thank you, the brotherhood, yes. Yes, it's not the, the, the brotherhood is, is, will be the, the right answer. Uh, okay, six degrees of separation, 
small word, thank you. I love that the concept of six, six degrees of separation. Mm -hmm. It's quite a, a sight that he said, uh, the friends. Okay, so let me see, it goes down. I have some problem with the chat, but it's okay. Yes, mensaje nuevo. Small word effect, okay, yes. And, uh, Antonio, uh, where would us participant in this event be in relation to you speaker in this ring? Thank you, Adriano. We are the mm, green one, okay? Yes, everyone can, can read it, and no, just, just the panelist, okay. Uh, Adriano is asking where uh, will us, the participant in this webinar, be in relation to you speaker in this ring? For me, uh, I'm the, in the green one with you. We have third in common. Okay, green one, thank you, thank you, thank you. The green one. So just a little exercise uh, I have for you to do, but we cannot do it with, uh, uh, with uh, some idea. The, the, the first idea comes to my mind is to give you like a um, breakout session. Well, for more than 200 people, it's a little bit difficult to you to know each other, to do synergies, to start your, your, your network, to start your uh, Guanxi network with me, like the third in common, because uh, every one of you comes to, to see me or hear me to, to, uh, to this uh, webinar. So I'm the one in common. So I'm in the green one with you. So I invite you to keep in contact with others uh, of these uh, other participants, of course, with me, with the organization, so that's the, that's the, <laughs> the, the point, but we cannot do it with so much people. So let's connect individually by uh, our networks. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Adriano, for your uh, question. And thank you, uh, I cannot see your name, uh, but thank you. Yes, thank you for, for pointing out the green one. So you are the Lawai, again, no bad connotation, and you want to get closer to the person in the middle. So the first ring you, um, you, you've done, okay? The third person in common. Just find a third person in common, mutual friends to introduce you to the other person. Okay, so what happened to the red ring? Something, something in common, uh, the same hometown? Maybe it's not, you cannot share the hometown with the, with the Chinese guy. Uh, maybe the school, this kind of uh, webinar, so maybe it's possible. Uh, yes, we both attend the, the seminar uh, by the uh, by Antonio Liu Yang. So let's connect. Yeah, something in common. Sector, we both working with wine. So it's possible, okay? Uh, we both have some, the same job. Maybe we, we both are lawyers. So the point in common, okay? Just find something in common to connect with that person. Uh, the shared last name, difficult for you. Or, or yeah, you, you can adopt a, a Chinese uh, last name. So a lot of people when, when I met okay, Liu is the very common last name, not as common as Li or Wang or Chen, but we are the fourth in, in the list. A lot of people have the, the last name Liu. Uh, yeah, uh, even my, my parents, they both are Liu. So it's a bit, it's like a, a joke for me now with my Spanish ID. So I have Liu Liu uh, repeated like a Garcia Garcia, okay? Uh, both, they both are Liu, okay? So um, when I met last year uh, a person from the, the football field, uh, his last name also is Liu. Um, he was creating this kind of common experience with me. And he said in Chinese, uh, uh, like uh, uh, you, know, can, you cannot write the same Liu with two, um, with two hands or, I, I, Maybe someone can give me a, a, a better tradition of this. It's like we are close. We share the, the, the last name together, okay? So, or, or you are sharing like a membership. I'm a member of Sieta uh, Spain. Oh, I'm Sieta, I'm from Sieta Europe. Or I'm from Sieta uh, Netherlands, okay? Or I'm a, a Real Madrid football fan. It's not, okay? But we, we, we are looking for some kind of, of uh, connection. So, extended family or biological family. So how could you be part of the extended family? To be really like a brotherhood or, or a sister 
or godfather or an uncle for the person on the middle. So anyone? Is this the question for you? Sorry. Marry. Marry this is get to the point. Okay, I will marry that person. I will be on the yellow ring. Marry into the family. That's just a, uh, okay, someone else. Sorry, sorry. Makes the relation more personal. Yes. Can you repeat the question? The question, uh, Nikita, is uh, how can you jump from the other rings to the blue one or to the yellow one? So be uh, part of his or her uh, extended family or family. So uh, the answer was marry uh, this person, marry his or her family. Yes, friendship, a deep friendship. Yes, let's focus the blue one. Spend time with them, creating common experiences. Okay, having dinners together. Uh, uh, yes, spending time together, invest time, build trust, offer favors, ask for favors. Uh, also ask a little favor and then return a bigger one. So help him, help him uh, do something is, is great, yes. Help or just offer with the offering is, is okay also. Yes, yeah, sometimes you, you are doing business with Chinese and the Chinese uh, partner has a, a, a son or daughter who wants to go to, the, uh, to Europe or, or the States to study. Just offer help with this kind of, of, of things. Just don't worry, just come to Spain and you're living in Barcelona or you're, you are living in Lisbon. Just come to Europe and study. I will, I will take care of your daughter or your kids. Okay, just offering that. It's, it's okay, it's creating more connection, more close connections, okay? Uh, bring milk powder. <laughs> yeah, big problem with the milk powder, yes. Earn the trust, okay, yes. Um, and the problem is how, okay. Mm -hmm. support, uh, support in times of need. Not only time of need, uh, for me, um, goes, uh, be, to build a networking is not only times of need. I think it's for, for me, it's in every time, every time. Uh, just remember uh, the last year when the pandemic or the COVID situation started in China, in Wuhan, uh, I offer a lot of Chinese uh, friends, uh, do you need something? Would you like me to send you some masks? And, and with the offer, it's okay. No one is saying, yes, please. Um, and you know, I, I did send something without like, uh, with okay with the person. I just sent it to them because I know they need it. And it's like, it's not like the, the, the value of the, or, or the money value of the masks. It's like the, 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 the point to help them before they, they ask for it. Okay, so that is the way, to, the good way to build uh, Guanxi in China. Yes, Elena, thank you. Demonstrate uh, that you care. Yes. Hester, thank you for the word. I was <laughs> looking for, for that word. Uh, word sorry. Um, and WeChat is a great tool for, for that. Uh, the social media is a great tool for that. Uh, in every time, you know, maybe you are a Real Madrid fan uh, and, and you know, you like, I know you like the, the football. Uh, I will send you things uh, that has to do with, uh, with your favorite team uh, when they are winning or when they are not losing, uh, where, you know, new players, uh, when I pass, uh, I see some football stadium, I will send you some picture. I will say, how are you doing? Just to let you know, I'm passing by uh, the, the, the Real Madrid stadium and send you some pictures. Hope you, uh, hope you are well. So just, just like a, a, a season greeting with any kind of, of situation, okay? Stand on their side in top times, thank you. Uh, demonstrate a face, thank you Nikita. Thank you for, for using the word face. Uh -huh. Would it possible to build some sort of Guanxi ring to reflect China international relationship with other countries? Uh, thank you for the question. Put it in on the on the Q and A question. Uh, we will answer that uh, later. Okay. Thank you very much. So let's move on. Uh, we are right in time. So again, five tips to uh, build your Guanxi network. Okay. So find the common ground, like I said, 
just the first step, the uh, green ring. So find someone in common, find uh, something in common with that person. Of course, it will take time, okay? It's a long-term uh, mindset. It's, you cannot create quality uh, from last night, okay? Create a common experience, ask for a small favor and return a bigger one. So that is a, a funny situation. Uh, imagine you are in Beijing and you ask your co-worker for, can you recommend me some good or typical uh, Beijing food uh, for me? Because it's my first week in China. I will try some real Chinese food, no mm, the fake Chinese food I had in my country. So that, that's the, the, the favor. It's a small favor, okay. So um, what do you expect uh, the, the Chinese guy uh, say to you? So the question, okay. You are asking for some uh, restaurant, typical restaurant recommendations, and the Chinese guy will give you just recommendations. Uh, thank you, Bernard. The Chinese guy will invite me. Yes. Yes, uh, yeah, he's probably bring you to a nice restaurant or a typical restaurant. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, just, I'm, I'm <laughs> taking me to Heidi Lau, thank you. Heidi Lau is very uh, popular, uh, a hot pot, a hot pot uh, restaurant, okay. Um, so what happened if, if this situation happens in your country, in your work environment? Uh, because uh, a Spanish guy uh, went to, well, years before, to Switzerland, uh, Nestle, Nestle. And he asked for like, a, there's any beautiful place to visit uh, during the weekend? And the people, the co-workers said, yes, there's a park out of the town, a very nice lake, and that's it, the recommendation. And he was, Spanish guy, was uh, waiting for some kind of invitation or, or some kind of like, yes, I take you there. So it's nothing happens. It's like, uh, it's no, not so close to the, 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 the friendship. I see not, it's, uh, they are separating the, 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 the professional and the private life. So that's like a, a misunderstanding, okay? Uh, Chinese are very friendly and very often they will invite you to the restaurant. Yes, yes, eating, drinking is an easy way to connect friendships. Okay, everyone is saying the, the correct answer from the Chinese point of view, I will take you to uh, make a, a ruta gastronomica, a gastronomic uh, road or walk, you know? I'll take you to some restaurant to recommend it you. Uh, I will know to do, just give you a list in TripAdvisor tri or or that on the NPM is the other APP we have. Uh, just, just find something in there. Like, don't ask me. You have um, you have your iPhone, so just uh, look for uh, in there. So that will be not the answer. Okay, the correct answer will be I take you this weekend to taste authentic, the typical Beijing uh, small foods. Okay. So uh, just happens once, and what will you do? So you accept, of course, the, 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 the invitation. And uh, how can you return the favor? It can, it can, be, more, it can be a bigger one or, or not a bigger one. It can be uh, just the next week or maybe during the year. In Britain, also, it takes a lot. Of, OK, I lost it. OK, uh, meal, meal. In my, my country, I will show you the whole country. <laughs> Just a, a, a much bigger one. Okay, okay. Pay for the dinner. Yes, pay for the dinner is is uh, is a great point. Maybe that you have to fight with your your coworker to pay the dinner. Okay. Uh, another another question comes to my mind. Uh, do you fight for pay the bill in your own country? Like we are friends, or we are in como fidos. Uh, we both are having sharing the meal uh, in your country. Is uh, we are paying like we split the bill in two. It's fifty. Okay, you twenty five, me twenty five. Or like, oh, I had a, a salad. Uh, I will pay uh, less than you that had your entrecot. Okay, so with friend, yes, we fight. Thank you. I'm from. Oh, okay, I, I lost that one. Is uh, I think it's a Netherland one. Is uh, sorry, Ireland one. Yeah, I will. I would like to to sh family fight to pay. Friends, we share. Thank you. We share the bill. We fight the bill, yes. Uh, in Valencia, we, we used to, to do like, uh, okay, hoy uh, pago yo, mañana tú. Like uh, today I pay and you pay the next next round, okay? It's like more equal, but we don't fight for, for to pay. But uh, in years I spent in, in Barcelona and everyone spilled the, the bill 
and with uh, the very concrete way. So I have the salad, uh, you have the, 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 the meat, uh, you pay for the meat, uh, I have the salad. It's all the experience I, I had in, in Barcelona. So it's, it's still regional differences, even in the country, okay? I pay, no, I pay, no, <laughs> okay. This is a funny situation, spirit. Yes, okay, I will read all the answers. Uh, I'll go to the end. Okay, in China, okay. In China, it's not making loose face uh, for the host, you pay the whole bill. Yes, that's the look, uh, it's a losing face thing. If I set up the invitation, uh, I said, I take you to the restaurant, I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay it. It's, it's, it's like a, the unwritten rule, unwritten rule. Uh, um, and who who makes the invitation, who pays for the meal. So it's, it's things you have to know, but you still have to uh, to offer to pay the bill. Okay, just make like a, a little fight with the host. Um, of course, it's like a friend to friend. If in, if my company in China set up a, like a, a banquet with a, a lot of people, of course, uh, the people who set up the banquet will pay for the whole meal, okay? So uh, more tips, maintain your quantity with a long-term orientation. As I said, just send greetings and find the, 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 the common experiences. Just say hello, and it's okay, say hello through WeChat or something. Just make the other person uh, believe that you think so of him, okay? We don't are used to get free meals from woman. Oh, nice, nice, nice perception, nice perception. Um, the, the last tip, may grow your quantity in different levels. As I said, uh, if we, we, we split the, the, the red picture, uh, we turn it around, you will see another, a lot of levels of different levels of quantity. Maybe more, more bureaucratic quantity, maybe more familiar quantity, maybe more is for using just favors and then you have your your own your own friend. So different kinds of quantity, but all connection is has to do with you. Okay. So this is the the, the last part, my last tip. So it's uh, fifty le uh, minutes left. So I have to say thank you for coming. This is the last part. Uh, just let you know all the things we we share today is to like just at the tip of the of the iceberg with iceberg. Uh, what is China? Uh, my tip for you is go deeper and deeper and see all the values, uh, all the whys, start with the why. And uh, also, please, uh, to train your intercultural competence. That is the two of, uh, one of the two gifts I'm going to, to give this to you. Um, to train your personal competence development so you can make a list after this so uh, after the thing I learn and I think, uh, what are the, the behaviors I'm going to stop doing? What other behavior I'm going to start doing? What other thing I have to do more often? And what other things I have to do more uh, differently? So maybe you can take a picture of this. So just uh, after any, any learning session, uh, I will recommend you to do this kind of, of reflection after the, the workshop. So you, you, you can say, okay, I will stop doing uh, to say something to directly to my Chinese coworkers, okay? Uh, I will start to build my own uh, business or personal or professional network through Quancy. I will do more often, I will give um, more face or I, I will do uh, more often to not making other losing face at one point and maybe do differently. Uh, I have to read and um, read and uh, listen between lines. Okay, you can put all the, the abstract the concept or you can put like uh, situations. Okay, Juan Luis, thank you very much for all the information. Thank you very much. And the second. Um, the second present, I will copy the, yes, okay. First one is this. Come on, yes. Stop doing, start to do, uh, do often and do differently. And the second one is, okay, so. 
Yes, it's the link. Okay, we put this, the third one also here. So we have more time after to answer the, the questions. My, inter, uh, my LinkedIn profile. So you can, we can start to make over, to build over Guanxi network. So the second link uh, is uh, what's your cultural profile is a test you can do yourself like a, a, a questions, uh, like it's uh, 20 questions, and then you select the country you want to compare your results uh, of the evaluation to that country. So it's by Eddie Mayer, one of the, the author of the uh, famous book, uh, the, uh, the Culture Map. So you can use this uh, assessment to improve your uh, communication with China, okay? This, this is mine. Some, somewhere I'm close to China and somewhere I'm not, okay? Yes, some books to read. The Culture Map from Eli Meyer, very good book. And Common Sense in Usual Times from Saba Tour. Uh, he's an owner of a, a, a very smart tool of assessment called Global Disc that combines, that combines uh, the cultural dimensions we're talking about, like a particularism and power distance, with your own personality and it's called a global disc. And it's, it's, it's fantastic, okay? The third one, Global Dexterity from Andy Moniski, a great book with a lot of, of, of examples and um, advices to, uh, um, his theory is to, uh, to grow your personal comfort zone to reach out the uh, normal behavior comfort zone of the other cultures. So fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> third one, and I had a lot of books here. Geography of Thought, um, uh, how the Asian and the Western think different and why. Remember the, the, the chicken, the cow and the grass, the, the dynamic come from this book, okay? And the last, the, um, no, not the last, from, from von Strombenas, uh, Reading the Wave of Culture. It, it's a great book with a lot of editions. It's the, the car. The so card dilemma come from this book. And someone asked me before this book from Liu Yang. Uh, Liu Yang, the same name as me, but Yang is a different Yang. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of common names in China. Uh, this one is, is, is great. It's a great tool to show the differences between different uh, uh, cultures. Uh, it was published in 2006. So still, still works for, for everyone. So. That's my recommendations to bo uh, for books and movies to watch. More movies for this weekend. Uh, Netflix, Prime, everywhere. Uh, Shanghai Colin, uh, ABC expat uh, to Shanghai. ABC, American, born Chinese. Um, uh, weirdly, this is Daniel Heng. He, he's not the um, Chinese, he's more Korean. So that's funny with all the this expat, expat experiences in Shanghai. The second one, Encuentro Chino, with the fantastic Darin. Uh, he, he met a Chinese person in Argentina, so it's uh, all the kind of misunderstanding situations. The Far Away, great movie to understand the Chinese culture with uh, uh, Western and Chinese traditional way of thinking. Made in China, a French uh, comedy uh, with the same um, uh, staff or group uh, of uh, Odios oh Mio Que Te Hemos Hecho, a previous comedy. It's fantastic, all in China. Uh, the, the fifth one is the Spanish comedy, Perdiendo del Este. Uh, not a good film about this, it's more about stereotypes, but it's funny, you can, you can watch it in the, in the weekend. And the last one is an Italian film. Uh, uh, the name is, uh, in Spanish, is uh, La Estrella Ausente. I cannot read Italian, but it's a very famous uh, Italian film with uh, uh, um, Italian expat to China to, to solve some problem with the machine in a factory. And the girl is the, his uh, interpreter. So a lot of daily living situations. So uh, David, if you let me, I would like to share with you a couple of interesting books. Thank you, Mr. China to, to Tim uh, Clisol and In Spite of the Gods, Luth Edward. Old book, but they are very, yes, thank you for your recommendation. You can see a lot of uh, Chinese book. I will even call it my Chinateca. I have a, 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 on drive a lot of books about China, 
also in paper. Uh, my wife are gonna, are, are go to, kind of going to kick me out of the house because I'm buying books and more books. So uh, the last uh, part, more information about China, of course, with European small medium in the press center, with uh, Camara de Comercio Luso Chinese. Uh, thank you for, for organizing that. And uh, let's connect through my, my LinkedIn and other uh, networks. So I have eight minutes to solve some of the, the question you left on the Q&I uh, answers, uh, sorry, section. So thank you very much. In spite of guts, it's about doing business in India. Thank you very much for sharing. Yes, this, this kind of, of webinars I, I like to uh, so much is because everyone is sharing information, everyone is sharing their thoughts and it's, it's okay. I don't like like a, a monologue uh, speaking like my, my, my teacher in the university. So uh, I learned a lot from you. So thank you for coming. Thank you again to be so active and thank you for not pointing out my working English during during these three hours. So thank you very much. So we go to the to the Q and R session. So I have like uh, more than ten questions. Uh, in, uh, Lillian saying, in fact, Chinese people can also be very direct. Of course, I think it's important to unravel the meaning of used uh, directness. Yes, uh, in situation you will see uh, like uh, if I'm your boss. I can be as much as direct as possible. Or um, sometimes, sometimes when I say Chinese or China, I'm just saying the, the middle, the level of the Chinese. Of course, in the in the extremes, you, you've got like a Chinese like me uh, growing up in, in the in the in the Western country, and can we can be more direct, and you can find a Chinese coworker that never been before for, uh, outside of China and had no more uh, notions than Chinese. So these two kinds of, of, of people will act totally differently. Of course, the generation are, are changing. So the younger people, younger Chinese will be more direct than the older gener generation, okay? So does Asian culture become, oh, sorry, becoming more individualistic and a lot of business of European country is so uh, collective? Uh, for me, yes, I had a lot of, uh, of experience with uh, start the startup system in China. Even you, you are seeing you know, the, the, the public speaking, the people, uh, the ties, uh, they were, were more like uh, the American style of, of public speaking. Just think about the, like show me or, or the, 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 all the new kind of, of business coming out from China. But if you compare two business, the same field, uh, Xiaomi and, and Huawei, Huawei is still more conservative, more uh, state-owned uh, entrepreneur. So that's the, the same time, uh, maybe the, the same sector, but different way to act, okay? So in Europe, the West considered early um, some important uh, 50 or, or so years ago. Unfortunately, this is no longer the case. Ch is China slowly moving to this direction? And uh, yes, yes. Slowly, uh, I will say, uh, I, will, I don't will use the word slowly, they change a lot. If you go, uh, for example, last year to something in China, it's happened to me that the last, the last time I've been in Beijing, like with three months of difference, uh, I see a lot of new buildings. Uh, I saw a lot of, of, of different kinds of, of slang, uh, the people speaking. And that is like, a, it takes like a two or three years in Europe or in Spain. To change that kind of mind, or, or like a TikTok, uh, uh, it's new. The social media is huge in China, or WeChat. When I started uh, to do this kind of, of webinars, no webinars, so trainings, uh, we don't even have WeChat. So my recommendation: what happened? Like uh, the, the cards with your your direction or the, your address, uh, writing down for the taxi drivers. And now with WeChat, you can translate everything, nearly everything. So th things are changing. Uh, much faster than in, in, in Europe, okay? Yeah, CSA from New Plan, uh, thank you very much to come. So, uh, something happened uh, that Chinese are more uh, direct than Western. Okay, uh, how to react properly? Yes, a good question, good question. Uh, for me, when, if you are a Lawai, you have, in Spanish we say bathas, okay? You have rights to be more Lawai. 
because the, the Chinese spy expect you to act like Lao Wai. Okay, they, they don't expect you, you, you are rude, right? And sometimes they will say, okay, you are a foreigner and it's the way you are acting. And it's a, it's a good tip for you even, of course, you are in China and you don't understand something or something sounds weird for you. Or you can use that too and say it openly, okay, you will be lose a little bit of face, but it, it's okay because the, the answer of that is, is bigger than, than the face. You can say, okay, is something wrong? Is something I don't understand? I cannot decode because in my country, we will do it like this way. So just open the questions. I and mean, it's, it's better for, for you to, to open the question uh, than the, to think about something is not really is. Okay, thank you. Hey, Toshi, Antonio, you are an excellent communicator. Parabéns. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry about again for my English. I will approve it uh, in this year. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sihemi. Okay, so more. Uh, okay, I will jump some question. Giving losing faith. What's, what's, what if is sing karaoke? Okay, Matias, thank you for, for bringing the karaoke theme uh, topic out. So, uh, giving face, giving face is like uh, maybe you can sing some uh, Chinese songs, or maybe you can sing uh, some part of uh, do a uh, do it. Okay, you sing in, in your in English or your your own language and make the, the Chinese part singing in Chinese. But you have to sing well to gain it to 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 not losing face. Okay, so my tip: uh, Why the Chinese people use additional name like Antonio? <laughs> Good question, good question. Um, this is the, uh, it's a deeper question, okay? Uh, 30 years before, all the Chinese people will come out in China. We want to make like a, a better communication with the Westerns. So we put like Antonio, Mike, John, uh, uh, Will's name to facilitate to you to call me Antonio instead of Liu Yang, okay? Uh, for start, Liu Yang, uh, Liu is my, my last name, Yang is my, my, my name, okay. And in Spain, we just call for the name, or uh, maybe for them, I will be Yang. And for me, Yang is not really my name, my name, Liu Yang is my name. And years before, when I got the, the Spanish nationality, uh, it's a really mess because I, I got Yang, like the first name, and Liu, the, the last name, and the second last name, Liu again, with my mother. So I will be Yang Liu Liu. And Yang Liu Liu sounds like, a, for me, a girl's name, okay because Yang is also can be a uh, uh, last name in China. So I, it will be some bad for the Chinese people. So for me, uh, years ago, I decided like a, a personal branding, just make it Antonio Liu Yang. Antonio for the Western people, Liu Yang, the whole name, Liu, uh, last name, Yang name for the Chinese people. So people are calling me Liu Yang, Antonio, wherever you want. Okay, well, Antonio Liu Yang, I will answer, yes. Thank you for, for asking. Um, and the second question with that is now, a lot of Chinese people just coming out with, uh, from China using their uh, real Chinese names. And the reason, some of the reason I had a, a lot of students, a Chinese students on, on a study abroad program and ask it, I asked them, do you have a, a, a European name or a Western name? And they said, no, because uh, and the reason was uh, China, the Chinese people were uh, in, in adapting to the Western world uh, for like 200, and now they have to adapt our way to thinking of the world. So do you see um, under the iceberg, no? that there are other, other values. So they are appreciating more my own business, my own culture. It's like I bring out everything and you have to adapt to me now. So another way to think. So uh, thank you very much for all the questions. Uh, uh, is uh, one past uh, one? So should we stop? Should we continue? Uh, I might Laura? suggest, Antonio, if you don't mind, we have recorded all the questions, hopefully mm -hmm. all of them, especially those in the Q&A session. Mm -hmm. So um, I will coordinate with Antonio to give a small feedback to them and serve them to the people who have raised them. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Laura. This thank way you. we will facilitate the people who raise the questions to, to give the answers. And if anybody forgot to, to bring the question to the Q&A and is interested in getting a little bit 
to know more about this topic. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, we have the Ask the Expert section, where actually our experts will be replying questions in regards to anything related to China.